Hey, good morning, my friends. I'm Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossi here. Welcome to the M Live Morning Weather Update. Thanks for joining me here. Uh, temperature roller coaster, definitely. As I see some fairly cool temperatures uh, as we head into the end of the week. Yeah, it's already Wednesday, so we're talking. I'm talking cool on Friday and Saturday morning or so. And very comfortable onto the weekend. And then it does look like we'll at least have a few days of hot to very hot weather. So let's get on into our uh, rain. Boy, we could still use the rain in most places. The only place it's really soaked is the southwest, the far southwest corner of lower Michigan. Otherwise, we could use the rain anywhere, and it's not really in the cards. What you're seeing right now is um, the radar uh, coming across the Bay City area, the Saginaw area, Flint area, uh, that's, you know, maybe the sidewalk gets wet in a place here or there. That's not a rain, really. Uh, and it's 15 minutes in any one spot. Northern Michigan, same deal. You know, a little bit more of a wet sidewalk. The sidewalk and then the eastern UP, you've got a real rain there. But otherwise, it's just kind of a, a little bit of a tease this morning, so to speak. All right, so radar forecast shows that as we go through the day, another little batch, little line of thunderstorms. Now, this is this evening, uh, so that's when we have instability in the atmosphere at this time of the year. So this evening, yeah, maybe a quick thunder shower, another half, 15-minute, half hour, nothing that's going to really help if you're still on the dry situation. And the same deal Thursday morning, a little, little patch of some showers in the north. Maybe a thunderstorm in the thumb or the southeast Thursday afternoon. That's about it. And then we get drier as we head into the weekend. Okay, so here's the European model. Oh, sorry. Would help. Is it Friday yet? No, it's not. Uh, give me just a second here. Okay. There you go. Now you can see it a little bit better, hopefully. Um, updating, updating. Come on. Come on, Internet. Maybe not. There we go. All right. Okay, so, you know, a quick shower today, a quick shower Thursday. Then Friday, cooler, drier air comes in. That's Friday. And this is Saturday, and Saturday looks stellar. Cool start, sunshine, light wind. Hey, good morning, Sarah Wells, Muskegon, Ed Johnson, Waterford. Mark Ambrosi, good morning. Uh, so Saturday, great Sunday, lots of sunshine, great. Except it would be really great if we had an inch or two of rain in the middle of the night, but we don't. Uh, now Monday and Tuesday, we try to have a shower around, and then the heat starts to build in. Um, and I'll show that to you in just a second. And as we go into Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, all looks mostly dry. You know, in, in extreme heat, yeah, we can pop a thunderstorm complex that the models don't know about right now. But the general gist of this forecast is that it is going to be dry and plants and garden plants are going to be suffering. Okay, so highs today, 70s in the north, 80s in the south, the warmest uh, around the Saginaw Valley, Mount Pleasant, and about 85, 86. Same deal tomorrow, warmest Saginaw Valley, Mount Pleasant, 84-ish. Uh, 70s in the north, Traverse City being comfortable in the next couple of days in the low to mid 70s. And then Friday, everybody's very comfortable, upper 70s to 80 in the south, low 70s in the north. Saturday with the sunshine, yeah, it's still a strong sunshine, even though, have you noticed, it's getting dark a little bit earlier. Uh, but looking at, oh, excuse me, I almost had to sneeze. Uh, looking at temperatures in the low to mid 80s, again, the Saginaw Valley, where it's driest, staying the hottest. Sunday starting to heat up in the 80s. Monday getting to 90 degrees in a lot of places, southern half of the state. And Tuesday hovering around 90. Then Wednesday. Now, this is off of the European model. Wednesday, 
bursts into the 90s. Its forecast yesterday was for a little over 100 for Wednesday. So it's toned down a couple of degrees. And I do, I'm going to show you what I'm going to show you here are two mop. Oh, uh oh, hold on here a second. Lost my screen. Yep, here we go. Let's try that again. Never had that happen. Let's try her again. Well, maybe it doesn't want to show you that is what the deal is. Give me just a second. Oh, boy. Okay. That might work. Bear with me, and it won't. All right. <laughs> well, never mind. Technology. You know, what can we do? Um, so, next Wednesday and Thursday, the European model show a 97 to then Thursday um, temperatures around 100 to 104 degrees. It's known to be a little bit warm. Back that back into the upper 90s. The GFS, the U.S. model, is known to be a little bit cool. It shows 100, 101, 102 by Thursday. Um, so, and it looks like we're all frozen up here. So, I go. All I could tell you is that it's mostly a dry forecast. We're going to be tracking the heat, and that's about the best I can do for you. Thanks for joining me on this disjointed version of the M Live Morning Weather Update. We'll try her again tomorrow. Nothing I can do. I don't control technology, so we'll give it a shot again. But I think you got the gist. The gist is keep the garden watered, enjoy the comfortable days here in the next few days, and get set for if you're looking for a run at 100 degrees, I think next week is our week, and uh, we'll see how it goes there. Take care. I'm M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa.